Rory Plays The Sims here and welcome to the next part of the I'm a Lover Challenge. I am so excited that you guys are here. You may notice something a little different today. Uh, I always want to say Charlotte, but this is Penelope. Penelope has decided to invite her family out to the cabin up in Granite Falls and they're going to have a little Christmas together. I am so excited. She's just here making some fruitcake for her family, doing some holiday baking. Um, I am just so excited for everyone. We're going to have a nice little Christmas dinner. I did try to invite um, Abby and Guinevere and more people up to the cabin, but it just wouldn't let me. So what I had to do was, let's go ahead and pause it. What I had to do was add everybody to the family. <laughs> and it, for some reason, I don't know why. I've tried this a few times. I've tried to have a dinner party here. It won't let me invite more people. I've tried inviting more people up to the cabin. It won't let me. So it's just being a little bit tricky. So I want to make sure that I show you everybody that's here the cabin with this and how everybody's doing let's go ahead and pause this I want to show you the outside of the cabin too um I put the snow mod, look, it's all snowy in Granite Falls. I put the snow mod in the game, so it's just a nice snowy winter afternoon. It's almost evening uh, here in Granite Falls. I'm so excited. It's just so pretty here. This uh, cabin has been in the family for years, for three generations now. They've had birthdays here. They've had camping trips. This family cabin really does mean a lot to them. She has, uh, Penelope has gone through the cabin and... Oh, my game froze. Now I'm showing you a wall. There we go. She has um, put up some Christmas decorations and put out. Uh, it's just, it's just so Christmassy here. I love it. I absolutely love it. Are you done with that fruit cake yet? Now the counter is absolutely <laughs> filthy. That's so gross. So I'm going to have her finish up uh, cooking. Is she okay? She's just gonna finish that up. Let's go ahead and uh, when she's done doing that, clean off the counter. I hope she doesn't leave that in there. You know, sometimes when you ask a sim to do something else, they'll walk away from the stove. So she looks like she's gonna okay, yay! Okay, I was so afraid she was just gonna leave that in there. Good, good, go put that down and then clean the countertop. What is Blake doing? Blake is over here. Oh, the whole family is over here. Oh, you guys, this is so cool. So little Mason has aged up. He is a little gentleman, gentleman now. He's a child. Uh, we have got Blake over here. Everyone's wearing Christmas sweaters. It's just so cozy. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any Christmas sweaters in the game for the kids. So she is wearing a little holiday dress. He's wearing a bow tie. Oh, I'm so happy. Also, Ashley and Jack have some news. In the, I don't remember if it was the last episode or the episode, episode before that but this happened <laughs> we were watching and Jack and Ashley went upstairs autonomously and woohooed so that is the result so Jack and Ashley are gonna be having more children I'm so excited for them she uh, it says right here that she is going to oops there we go she oh the game there we go she is going to be giving birth any freaking second now i'm so excited for her that uh their family is going to be growing Puppy just finished cleaning up the countertops and what i'm gonna have her do she just made all of this food doesn't it look freaking amazing i just whenever i see the food in the game it just makes me uh grab a serving together it just makes me want to eat whatever they are eating like grilled cheese oh my gosh for some reason whenever i see my sims eating grilled cheese it is such a weakness for me so I'm kind of hoping we can make it through Christmas dinner without Ashley oh she's in a lot of pain I checked and she's not gone on to labor gone into labor but um, I'm really kind of hoping she can at least make it through Christmas dinner oh our whole family is here Jack and Ashley are flirting with each other and it looks like they're really enjoying their dinner it looks really good they're just kind of hanging around the table telling jokes I'm just so happy to see everyone all gathered here Ashley is doing really well. She hasn't gone into labor just yet, so I think we may have just a little bit longer for her. Um, these two kids on the very end, they have just been telling each other jokes the whole time. It has been really cute watching them eat dinner together. I got to keep an eye on this notification wall because I am so afraid. Okay, I'm so, I'm afraid, but I'm excited. It's like a Christmas baby. I'm so excited. Make sure you clean up your dish, little man. Clean. Good. Thank you. And he's doing everybody else's dishes. Jack and Ashley, you guys have raised the perfect gentleman. He's even wearing a little bow tie. It is so cute. Jack, why don't you go ahead? Oh, you were going to take the dish anyways, and you're taking your mom's dishes. 
What a sweet boy you raised. <laughs> She's like, I know, he's pretty sweet. <laughs> so we're gonna have, um, Blake, why don't you help out as well? Why don't we go ahead and um, put away some of this food? We had a wonderful dinner. Jack, why don't you help put away the food too? Your mom made quite the dinner. I wonder if kids can help with dishes. They can, that is so awesome. What does she wanna do? She wants to be funny with her brother. Oh, she's taking a quick nap. She has been cooking all freaking day. Jack, can you not put the food away? Is it something we can't do? Oh no, okay, now he's doing it. Oh, maybe they can't. Interesting, okay, that is good to know. I wish everybody would stop going to go sleep in that tent. They, ever since we arrived, they have been sleeping in the tent, they have been playing in the tent, it is pretty cute. Oh my gosh, it is 8.30 at night. Let's have these kids come down here and why don't they, can she play with her play dolls together? I wonder if she, yeah, she couldn't reach it. Shoot, I didn't think she could. So why don't we have her come down here, hug Uni, yes please and maybe have Jack get some fruit cake. I wonder what he's gonna think of that. Um, Blake, yeah, come take a piece of fruit cake. Your mom spent so much time cooking today. Why don't you come over here and have a seat? Poor Ashley, everybody loves sleeping in that tent. It cracks me up how much time they spent in that tent. Are you playing with your toys? Yay, she's playing with her toys. He is sleeping too. Everybody is in that freaking tent. Uh, go ahead and play with your brand new Christmas toy. I just love how Penelope, she's just so happy to have her family here gathered in front of the fire, in front of the tree, and oh, she's so happy she's walking away. <laughs> this musical chairs has been so difficult today. Also, the reason why the camera is bouncing around is because there's a stairway right here. When I was little, I did not make this cabin, but when I was little, um, my uncle's house used to have something like this where it kind of stepped down to a fireplace, so I, I was so happy when I found this household this cabin in the gallery because it reminded me so much of a place I used to go to when I was little. Oh, yay! Uh, let's have, I wish I could just get in closer. These camera angles are kind of difficult in here. There we go. It might let me know. Why don't you go ahead and uh, hug your son. Uh, tell a joke about Sunset Valley. Tell him a knock a knock joke. He's really enjoying your um, Brighton day. I think he's enjoying it. Is he enjoying it? Is he like, what am I eating? Oh no, what did I just eat from eating fruitcake? Yuck, does anyone really eat that fruitcake stuff? He is being such a sweet boy. He knows his mom. Um, he knows his mom spent so much time just making all of this food, so he's just he's just kind of choking down the fruit cake. <laughs> he's like, Mom, this stuff is so good. Thank you so much for making it. <laughs> you are so sweet. You are such a good boy. What are you coming over to do? Oh, he's coming over to hug his brother. He wants to cloud gaze with his brother and he wants to chat with his son. Did he eat the fruit cake? Oh, he doesn't like the family fruit cake either. I just realized I should have had Penelope um, make the family brownie recipe. That is something the whole family enjoys. I happen to know that for a fact. How are you doing? She's feeling pretty good. She's feeling flirty. What are you over there doing? You are to all. Look at these grown up kids having a nice time over a plate of almond macaroons. Why don't you grab a sir? sneak some cookies oh no are you gonna walk away though I want you to sit down and eat with each other oh I just killed it oh or they can reset did you guys see that um, grab a serving let's see where he sits maybe he can't sit here because the plate is in the way <gasps> yay okay let's have you oh he doesn't want to sit there I won't force you to eat those cookies if you don't want to eat the cookies little boy Oh, they just decided to hug each other instead. How cute are you guys? Share a secret. And how about uh, give them a hug and tell them a gross joke, joke. And I really feel like, why is she doing nothing? Why? <laughs> why are you standing there smiling creepily? There she goes. And has decided to come over here and have a glass of milk. And uh, she is so full. Get to know. Um, I saw, talk about toys, yeah, talk about your Christmas toys that you want to, ha to get from Santa. This is so cute, watching Penelope watch her grandchild and her daughter just hang out together. Oh, Mason, learn that uh, Emmeline is cheerful. Of course she's cheerful. Where are you two going? 
Can you guys just keep your hands off of each other just for a few seconds? <laughs> Talk about school, Penelope, talk to your grandson, give him a heartfelt compliment, tell him a really funny story, uh, get to know him and your daughter, why don't you tell her a knock-knock joke, and do an impression, what are these two going to go do? What the actual heck? What? You guys, come on! Take, just for a second, can you not? Well, you know what? We might as well turn this on. Enable emotional aura. These guys, these two are going to have so many children. I have never had Sims in my game that autonomously woohooed so much. I mean, Penelope has learned the following traits about Mason. Okay, well, um, oh, they are really completely satisfying from spectacular woohooing. How are you feeling? This, I mean, you guys, holy moly, look at all these moodlets. Pleasantly satisfied. She, is she going to go into labor? I don't know what she's doing. I don't, you know what? He's, at least, at least he's feeling a little bit better from this terrible fruitcake. Okay, let's leave those guys alone. <laughs> Meanwhile, downstairs, everybody is just hanging out at the family table. Why don't you come over here and have a seat? Uh, Ashley, why don't will you guys stop for like just a second? Sit here, talk to your family. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and end this crazy episode here. I just wanted to share the Wells family with you. I wanted to show you guys what they were up to for Christmas. Looks like they, um, it, I, they're just having the nicest time. I am so happy that they got to come to the cabin in the woods. I'm kind of surprised that this little baby didn't happen. It is now one o'clock in the freaking morning. There's cookies on the ground. You know what we should do? Let's pause it really fast. Let's see if there is a table over here. You know what? Although these kids did get some of their Christmas presents early, um, can we put this? We can't put it anywhere. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll put those right there. <laughs> These kids did get a few of their Christmas presents early. Um, we got the unicorn and oh, I had tons of toys down here, but it looks like the kids may have walked away with some of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a plate of cookies. Oh no, did they? No, we'll take this plate. We're going to take this plate of cookies and place it over here and we're gonna put a glass of milk down. So the cookies and milk have been placed next to the fireplace. The Christmas tree is turned on. Everyone is ready to go to the kids are headed up to go to bed. Also what I wanted, oh, what are you gonna go do? Oh, you're gonna go hug your sister. Good night, you are so sweet. What I wanted the, uh, you know what? Let's have Penelope. I wonder if we can do this here. I know there's a bookshelf here. What I think, wait, where is the bookshelf? Am I making you guys dizzy? I'm so sorry. You know what we should do? We should read. No, how do you read to the kids? Maybe if they're already in bed, but I think it would be really neat if Penelope read a Christmas story like the night before Christmas to the kids as they head off to bed. So Pen is just here reading the night before Christmas to her grandchildren. They are so excited. They are full to the brim of excitement and magic and wonder and sugar cookies and really gross fruitcake. They, I do not know how they're gonna get a wink of sleep tonight. They are so giggly and so excited. It is snowing outside. They are here with their family. Santa is coming tonight. They are going to try and stay up and see if they can sneak downstairs and see Santa coming. But um, I don't think they'll be able to. They'll be a little bit too tired. <laughs> so I start wandering around the house because I can't find where Ashley went. And Penelope is upstairs reading to her grandchildren. And I'm like, where is that howling coming from? What is going on? Ashley has gone into labor. Um, <laughs> I'm going to see. Can we send her off to like, um, wait a minute. Okay, can I? Oh, <gasps> send home. Oh no, have baby. You cannot have a baby while on vacation. Are you kidding me? 
Okay, so what we're gonna have to do <laughs> is we're going to uh, send her home so she can have a baby. Let's go ahead, send Jack home, <laughs> and we will just have Penelope. What is she doing? We will just have her take care of the grandchildren. So Penelope and Blake and the kids, everyone is so excited that there's a baby on the way. I sent Jack and Ashley home, so they are headed home to have the baby. Penelope's like, don't worry, I will make sure the kids go to bed and wake up in the morning and do what they're supposed to be doing. I'll take care of them. We won't have Christmas here without you. Don't worry. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions and your congratulations for the new baby. Maybe some baby names in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for being here and for spending Christmas at the cabin with the Wells family. I am so happy that you guys are here and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!